Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last time we went on a vampire killing spree because we're I guess in a vampire war or something. And, and basically our, our leader, DA, was like, hey yo, go kill some other vampires from other clans. So we went back to that uh, first place where we killed, what was his name? Kjell? Kjell? I don't even remember his name anymore. Doesn't matter. It's probably written on the screen somewhere. Um... Anyways, maybe it's not, it's over here. But it, I was right, Geld. Geld? Geld. Whatever. We Keld Keld. Uh, and then uh, I was like, well, I remember there being another den closer to Ald Run. Uh, however, on our way down to Ald Run, uh, well, the sun came out. So we ducked into uh, uh, Falas Marion, which, uh, as you can see by the note, was incomplete. We've been here before, but. For some reason, we had to to leave. I think something was uh, had overpowered us, and we killed it. The ascended sleeper. So, uh, this time here, right now, it is currently. Uh, well, it, I can't check the time because there's enemies nearby. But I I, I assure you that there it is probably. Um, it is probably uh, daytime outside. So uh, we are going to come in here. We're going to clear out this dungeon, explore it a little bit, and. Um, Dang, okay, uh, I guess we, uh, dang, I like one shot of these guys. Oh, this is where we, uh, got, the, um, we could have got a whole suit of gold armor, but we didn't. That's right, we left, our, we left the Dark Brother Greaves on him! <gasps> nice! Uh, alright, so we have been here, I guess maybe it's a little bit lower down, uh, is where, where we, um, we di didn't, uh, uh, we hadn't fully explored, so, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what we hadn't explored and what we what we did, but uh, by by the looks of things, uh, we had uh, we had cleared out at least the main floor. But it looks like the enemies uh, probably went ahead and respawned. So, um, you know what? I'm actually going to um, I'm, I'm actually going to take a look at uh, some of the the, uh, the items here are the the, uh, the characters on the ground because if I recall correctly, one of my resistances like I've I've got higher willpower t right now. Um, but what I believe I've also got resist common disease. Uh, is, is that considered a common disease? Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I think it was the sewers we had gotten to. So I'm just gonna run through here, slay everything, and get to uh, the next, we'll say, black section of the map. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where we had left off. So uh, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, I'll be right back. You've gained knowledge from this book. Your spear, sk spear skill has increased to six. Smuggler's Island. Maybe I'll remember to read that later. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely down in the sewers. We've got a black region here, and we got a black region over here. I'll just expand this out a little bit. There we go. So you can see a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, we've got two people there. I, I killed a lame uh, corpus and a rat along the way here. Um, I'm gonna sneak over a little bit more. Uh, part of me doesn't like sneaking because I'm like, well, I'm not really advancing any skills at this point because my sneak is already maxed out. Um, but other part of me knows that, hey, if I'm going to be really uh, dropping these guys effectively, uh, getting those critical strikes in, the, the, the sneak uh, will be helpful. I'll just use my band-aid of time to uh, pop my uh, health back up slowly over time. That way, it'll take a little bit of the burden off my my uh, my Estus flask, my main healing item. And you know, I can take a few hits. Whatever. Down he goes, Ash Ghoul. I don't know. Do I want Ash salts? I guess I'll I'll take one. Why not? So let's see. Where have we? Uh, I guess it's all the way down here that we haven't explored uh, the entire way. Uh, you know, we'll just run. We'll run around a little bit. Oh, hello, rat. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what was incomplete about this place. Um, because if we if we're taking a, a look around, it's it's got to be yeah, it's got to be down this way. Yeah, it curves off in that one direction. Yeah, that's got to be it. So, uh, how do I get over there on land though? I don't. I've just got to go into the water with the slaughterfish. I'll probably find another way up uh, elsewhere. Hey, slaughterfish, how's it going? Uh, is there a druid here? There's something in the water over here. 
Is there something in the water? Or is that just my eyes playing tricks on me? No, there's def there's definitely a barrel, a floating barrel. Ooh, we'll get some resin. We can use that to uh, restore our health. Hound meat, sure. Okay, give me a second. I'll loot this. All right, here we go. Uh, we're uh, we're continuing on our way. He's probably going to attack us when he can get to us. Uh, there's got to be a way up from here, right? Hey, not right now, Mr. Slaughterfish. Can't you see I'm busy trying to find a way? Oh, here we go. Looks like a ramp. Now, does he know I'm here? No, he, he doesn't. There was a guy up above, uh, and I, I thought for sure he would have seen me, but um, evidently he wasn't looking down into the water. Oh, dang. What is my uh, my marksman uh, skill at anyways? Marksman, 51 with uh, the bound uh, longbow. Huh. That's pretty low for me to be doing the kind of damage. I'm assuming uh, because Marksman is uh, dominated by agility and we have an agility of 99, that's probably contributing a little bit to our success here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm going to say it's some sort of vampire thing. That, that's got to be it. Yeah, just it's because we're a vampire and that, 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 that helps. Uh, let's see. Now this 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 place screams um, like main quest, you know, with the, the the sleepers, the zombies, and all that crap. Um, should I be grabbing my arrows? Nah, I'm good. Uh, and uh, okay, I was I was gonna say, is it just come to a dead end? Uh, it does come to a dead end. Yay! After all this time, I ah, you suck. You you live uh, you live to live another day, fish. Yes, you live to live another day. You, uh, you really have a way with words, Jason. It's just beautiful the, the way you you string those things together and into sort of these 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 messages for humanity or wh whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, well, after all this time, we have completed uh, Falas Marion. Now, I believe there may have been uh, one of the outside. Um, if you look at the outside of, uh, oh, I can't show it to you right now. Um, I believe there was one an upper floor. I think we did we did clear the upper floor. Um, what's this? Oh, that's gonna lead us underwater, right? Okay. Um, uh, there, there's uh, there's other um, there's other sort of rooms, I guess we will call them. Um, like you've got uh, you know where where you would normally find like the the propylene chambers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. All right. I will see you guys outside again. Ooh, greater soul gem. All right, it's still it's about 11 a.m. So we're gonna start uh, taking a bunch of damage as soon as we get outside. Uh, there is this other door over here, and there's another little chamber over there, the propylene chamber. Anything in here want to kill us? No. All right. What have we got? We got the the Velen Varian propylene and the Verandas propylene. What what um. Indices do we have or indexes? I don't know how, how what would you call it? We have the Hlormarin propylene index. I could have sworn we had two. Did we not have two? Oh, yeah, here we go uh, We have the Telesero and we have the Ve ah the Valenvarian propylene index So we could use this to to teleport somewhere Now Varen Villian, where is that? All right looking over the map. I'm actually not able to find out where uh, this is where um Valenvarian. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe I haven't gone there yet, uh, which is kind of exciting. So what I want to do, uh, I want to go check out that other building really quick and uh, run in there, check out what's over there, and then I want to come back and try using that index. And I want to see where that where that leads, where that brings us. Um, hi. Oh, I do remember you. Okay, yes, I remember where we're at now. Uh, I, yes, we've been here. Cool. Uh, all right. So uh, because I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back though, I'm not sure if uh, like uh, these are designed in such a way that um, you know once I go through I can come back because oh, wait actually I, I I can say right now, uh, uh, Falas Marion. I I don't have the index for this place, do I? No, I don't. Falas Marion. Now, Barandas is down here, so that would put us a little bit closer to Aldrin. So, yeah, we'll see where we uh, where we end up. Uh, I, I have the Hlor Maron, I believe. Do I? Yeah, the Hlor Maron. So that would put me close to Caldera. This is kind of cool. I like this. Oh man, I wish I would. I wish I had more of the uh, the indexes though. Okay, let's see where this le leads us. 
Uh, Velen Varian, here we come. Oh, hi! Are you gonna try to kill me? Or are you, are you... Uh, Abel, uh, Tridit. Tridit. Oh, we're all the way up here! We've gotten farther away! No! Uh, the Rothran Propylon and the, ah, uh, Philosophian Propylon. Darn it! So we've actually gotten farther away. Um, it's, so it's instantaneous. There's no time passage um, with that. So, hi. A vampire, go away. I just want to talk. I don't fear you, vampire. Be gone, fiend. Oh, fine, fine. All right, so we can't, uh, hmm. We can't go through the middle. We'll have to go through the, the shiny lights. I don't know why. I'm, I'm nervous of touching the, the shiny lights. I'm like, don't touch them. Maybe it's the maybe it's the vampirism. It reminds, reminds me of the sunlight. So do I save here? Ah, uh, part of me is like, yeah. Dirt, dirt everywhere. Dirt. I know it's such a dirty place. Clean this, uh, clean this place up. Um. All right, we're gonna use the band-aid of time because we're gonna go out into the sun. Oh hi! Oh, there's people everywhere. Hi. Oh wow! I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. Am I in trouble? Oh, I was totally in trouble. Long blade skill increased to 38. Wow. Well, we got ambushed by uh, by orcs. Um, yep, the whole clan of them. Um, and uh, but we survived. We did. We did it. We uh, we just sort of slew them all. Now there's a. F is that basically a full set of orcish? <laughs> it's like I like leaving. Uh, Ormer. Uh, uh, Ormer. <laughs> Ormer. It's 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 orc armor. It's Ormer. I like leaving Ormer around, um, if, especially if it's like a full set, that way there, if I ever want to come back and grab him, I can, I can be like, yeah, there we go, Orcish Battle Axe. So we got a full set of stuff, uh, and that's up, uh, at Varen Velion. And I'll put a note here saying, Orcish stuff. There we go. Um, hmm. All right, well, I should... Let, let's go into some of these other buildings. Let's, let's explore a little bit. You will die. Oh, cool! Uh, unfortunately for you, I'm indoors now, which means... Uh, the sun is not messing me up. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, it's already on. Uh, take some money. We'll just sort of loot the place up a bit. What's that? Common shirt. Looks very... Di I don't... Uh, like, it looks like a different sort of icon to me. Huh. What does it look like? Uh, I don't know if I've seen that shirt before. Hmm. It, it's a common shirt, but you know, I don't think I've seen so much. Ooh, Master Armor's Hammer. I, which reminds me, I do need to do a little bit of repairing. Give me a second. There we go. There we go. I got rid of a little bit of uh, light. Uh, oh, sorry, a little bit of light. I lightened myself up is what I was trying to say. Uh, by repairing some of my stuff, now all my gear is at 100%. Uh, what do we got here? Fortify attack. Actually, fortify attack. I'll take that. Uh, Viper bolts. We'll leave those be. Uh, gold. Gold is always good. I like gold. A lot of orcish stuff here. I wonder why. It's almost as if the place was inhabited by orcs. All right, off to the next building. You are a fool to fight me. Well, you're the one who's. Hey, you're the one who pulled your weapon out on me. Uh, we are now in Lamberg's- Lamberg? Lambugs, sorry. Lambugs hut. Nothing really exciting in there. Uh, Gashna's hut. Great honor. Uh, well, there you go. I I'm glad to have bestowed upon you some honor. In the form of me slapping you with my sword. That's right, I don't- I don't hack them with my sword! Ah, that was- uh, that would make me a barbarian of sorts! No, no, I slap them. Coward. Coward? Really? The bones? Like, you, you don't want to eat something a little bit more appetizing? Dang. Uh, I have the feeling that had I uh, been here uh, as uh, a, uh, a non-vampire, if I if, if I showed up here as, um, oh, restore personality, cool. Uh, if I had showed up here as, you know, normal Alexis, without the, the benefits of being, uh, you know, a vampire, a, a creature of the night, uh, I get the feeling that I would have probably had a really tough time with this part. It, it's almost like, it's kind of like what happened, um, with me in, uh, in, uh, Daggerfall. 
And I, I was having a really hard time with that game. Uh, and then I, uh, I turned into a werewolf. And all of a sudden the game became a whole lot easier. Easier. Well, it was a bit more of a pain in certain aspects. And the same can be said here because, you know, it, it's, it's definitely played out like a curse. It's not so much like, aha, now you've got superpowers. No, no, you're like... Being a vampire, it requires a change of uh, change up of your playing style, uh, definitely. Um, uh, but I definitely have become a lot more. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of my ability or if it's because I'm uh, because I'm a vampire. I'm not too sure which it is. It's probably a combination of the two. Like uh, let, let's let's be honest. I've got myself some some decent items. Uh, I've leveled up a little bit more. I have gotten a little bit stronger. Um, but th those bonuses, it cannot be understated uh, how much those those extra bonuses from um, being a vampire uh, really, really affect this. Uh, so far, it's uh, you know, a lot of just plain average loot. A spool! Oh, see, now I love this. I love when, when we find a, a lesser soldier. Really? It looks kind of almost rainbow-ish. Let me, okay, uh, do I have a lesser soul gem on me? I do have a lesser soul gem on me. Uh, I just want, I just want one. Let me see, just one. Oh yeah, they do look like that, don't they? Depending on the light, oh, like the, the, the way the light is hitting it is just, just right. Uh, cool, I'll take that. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't recall seeing a spool, and I love that in, in, in this, uh, in, uh, actually in the Elder Scrolls games, like, I, um... I've talked crap about Oblivion, but I, I love that there's, you know, in starting in Morrowind and in all of them, uh, that's the one thing I cannot fault them with, is creating these these cool, just these packed worlds for you to explore with all these cool little knickknacks on things. Um, you know, I, I just love that. All right, I think that's basically it. Uh, are you hostile, or can I talk to you? Okay, okay, cool. Unholy okay, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Just chill. Um, oh, this is cool. I like this location. I'm dying, but I like this location. This is a cool view. I don't know if I've ever been here. There's, there's, there's that phrase again. I don't know if I've ever been here. Velen Varian. Well, I don't have the, um, the appropriate, um, index to really teleport anywhere else from here. So that kind of sucks. I can't uh, teleport there, and I can't teleport there. So I'm gonna have to go out on foot, <laughs> and I am now even further away from, um, uh, further away from civilization than I was before. Uh, where's the next closest one that I could use to teleport? No, I believe it's uh, Falas Marion, isn't it? Your athletic skill increased to 81. That's kind of a cool uh, sort of little place. You got the the trees coming up. And you got the the, the tomb uh, sort of nestled in in between it all. Anyways, I'm coming back because we're about to. Um, well, maybe maybe not. Maybe we're, maybe we're not that close. Uh, we're about to start going over new terrain and and I, I, I you know I'd like to be able to put something in my video. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I feel like because of the amount of running uh, the, that uh, being a vampire, um, we'll say entails, uh, because you know I don't got quick travel anymore, right? Um, I feel like a uh, part, part of we'll say the uh, the consequence of that, or part of the uh, you know basically what I'm gonna have to put up with uh, is the fact that there's just gonna be some episodes where there's just gonna be a whole lot cut out. Uh, but that's okay because, you know, my athletic skill is going to go through the roof and uh, I'm going to, my athletics and my acrobatics are going to be fantastic when we're done. Our legs are going to be so pumped. We're going to be like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be able to, like, when we lose the, the vampirism, uh, no doubt there will be a little bit of sadness to the loss of our abilities, but... Uh, just, just because of all the, we'll say, extra exercise, uh, we have to do, uh, I, I really, you know, I really feel like we're going to be able to move around at a pretty good pace, um, and especially with all the, um, the enchantment use I've, I've, I've been doing, actually, let me, let me take a look, um, because basically this entire, yeah, we're at 96, it's at 43, this entire time I've been using, like, my jogging pants, I've been using, uh, my band-aid of time. I went and created another item uh, because I'm an idiot. Well, no, the, the item itself is, is okay. It was a, it was an opportunity for me to use 
uh, my enchant skill. I was like, oh cool, you know, uh, I, I saw a Kagudi, a diseased Kagudi, and I was like, alright, let's let's go ahead and kill it, and then t use its soul and make something, some cheap, uh, expensive ring, which I forgot to rename. That's, that's the dumb part. Uh, but basically it's, um, I, I got it on my first try, and I made it so that it's, uh, it can make me invisible, um, twice before basically needed to, uh, needing to be recharged. So basically, uh, tw uh, it makes me invisible for 15 seconds, uh, for a grand total of 30 seconds before it needs to recharge. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what the, um, the recharge time, dang, we've made some good time, um, uh, what the recharge time is on, oh, okay, fine, on, uh, Enchanted items, I know that they just sort of recharge on their own. I should time it or look it up or something. Um, like, uh, let me see here. Like, for instance, um, you know, let, let's try it out. We've got the, uh, the Mew Ring. We'll use this as an example. The Mew Ring. It cur currently has a charge of 100. I should have used a much better soul than what I did, but whatever. We use the Mew Ring, which basically gives us a bit of Night Eye. It's up to 99. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on that and see when it um, when it goes ahead and it recharges that one little extra little bit. Uh, maybe I should. There we go, 40. All right, so basically now I'm I'm timing. And you're like, what are you talking about, 40? I got a clock next to me. That's that's how long I've been recording. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just taking a look at the time. Anyways, uh, I want to see how how fast it is. I believe I suspect it's probably like once uh, a. Um, one pause, I see by pausing I probably mess things up. Uh, probably once a minute is my guess that uh, we will get. Uh, I've got Black Heart Blight, really? And the Long Blade increased to 39. Wow. Black Heart Blight. Alright, well, um, it's been less than a minute and we've already got two points back. So maybe every 30 seconds you get an extra point back on your charge. So, you know, this this ring here, the, the expensive ring, which I forgot to rename, you know, it's not too bad. It's It takes a charge of 10, uh, so I'm guessing maybe every f every five minutes. Holy crap! Uh, 69 strength and zero endurance. That sucks. Uh, do I have something that will heal um, uh, blight disease? Well, I've got a spell called Cure Blight Disease. However, I have a 0% chance of casting it. That sucks. Is it because it costs a hundred? It might be because it costs a hundred, um, hundred magicka. So if I were to increase my intelligence, uh, up to 96, I still wouldn't have enough. Okay, give me a second. Oh, there we go. I've got four of them on me. Sweet. I was like, come on, I've got to be carrying this on me. Potion of Cure Blight Disease. Boom. We're back, we're back up to, uh, uh, we're, ba we're back uh, back in the running here, um, and we're, we're pretty close to Ald Run. The time is 2 a.m., so yeah, we still got some time uh, to uh, locate the uh, the vampire's uh, den and uh, and slay them. Uh, probably have to spend the night there, but that's okay. I'm a vampire. I I'm, I'm into cre creepy things now. You know, I can just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep amongst the dead bodies. Oh, it's right down here. It's right down here. I remember very well. All right. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm using my enchant skill to try it and get, uh, try, I'm trying to use it as much as possible, uh, so that I, uh, I can work on that a little bit more too. Actually, you know what? Let me save out here. Alright, we're going to, uh, use the band-aid of time, make sure that I've got, uh, healing, and, um, no, you know, I'm just gonna walk in. Hi! <laughs> a little bit delayed there. Yeah, there we go. Let's just. Wow, what kind of what clan are you guys from? Because you kind of suck. Just saying. Uh, I love that they're no names. They're just vampire. All right, we'll take some. Uh, we'll go ahead and loot these bodies real quick. All right, so we've killed at least three here now. Just need to find. Uh, I don't know how many we killed in the other place. I know that we. Uh, if, if I kill another three, I'm pretty sure I'll be set. All right, loot of the room. I uh, grabbed a book. Uh, I will get around to reading them. I promise. I promise. They're like, yeah, Jason. Yeah, yeah. No, no, seriously, seriously. Hi. Are you, uh, yes, you're, uh, is there another room out of here? No. It's just this one. Darn, I was kind of hoping it, it would have hooked around a corner or something. Oh, uh, well. Well, we, we managed to kill four vampires. Now, 
Actually, that's an interesting question for me to ask myself. Um, I like the I like that scroll. Uh, we we know that some some of the places some of the enemies go ahead and respawn. Uh, like we uh, when we were up at um, uh, Falas Marion, which we probably could get rid of that incomplete uh, marking from, but I was an idiot and left it there. Oh well. Um, why why did I grab that? What did I just grab? Was that crab meat? I think it was crab meat. All right. Um, it makes me wonder. You know, do the the vampires these these no name vampires do they respawn as well? Because that would be kind of cool to be able to have like a steady stream of vampires. I don't know why, but it w it would be cool for some reason. <laughs> See, I even left a note for myself. Army vampires. Uh, all right, so huh. I killed four vampires there. I killed another. Wait, don't I have a ring? Did was I not given a ring uh, to return back to my my place whenever I uh, I need to? Am I am I remembering wrong? I might be remembering wrong. I have an undead amulet. Okay, we're gonna save here. I think if I equip this, it'll let me. Yeah, would I like to return to Ashmalek? Okay, we'll we'll say yes just to try this. Um, if by some chance I did not kill enough vampires, then we will, um, I don't know if I necessarily want to, I'll, I'll load my game, just, to, I'll use that as a, a means of fast travel. Uh, yo, did I kill enough? Um, yeah, future rewards. No, nothing. I, I killed a bunch. No. Alright, now, I find myself in an interesting, uh, a, a bit of a, we'll say an interest, interesting conundrum. Um... Do I go searching for um, more vampires? Do I just start going into random tombs and be like, hey, where are the vampires? Or, uh, you know what? Actually, I think that's probably a dumb idea. Let's, if I happen to come across them, I will come across them. Um, however, I died at level 9, so maybe I want to go back there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, pro I pr can probably handle whatever happened to me back then. Um, cause I, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, okay, that that's gonna be a pain. Uh, I've got to. Sorry, I'm looking for something. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically out of, out of time right now, and I'm trying to figure out where to go. Like, I I, I was hoping I would have uh, between those one, those two, I would have found enough um, enough uh, vampires to kill that I would have been like, alright, cool, we're good. Uh, but it does not appear that way. Now, if I recall correctly, now my memory might, might, might be a little off, but I seem to recall, I don't even remember where Sadrith Mora is. Um, Sadrith Mora, where, that sounds... Right, yeah, I was gonna say that sounds a little bit Telvani-ish. Um, if I recall correctly, there is a vampire quest. I think there's at least one near Sadrith Mora. Over in the Telvani area. So what I could do is I could cut across this way here, maybe explore some of these areas and see if there's any more, um... Uh, vampire, uh, sort of, um, things uh, for me to, uh, to come across uh, along the way. And then, you know, um, maybe I'll be able to up my, my kill count that way. So yeah, maybe, I, I'm pretty sure, I, 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 I'll, I'm really sure, I, yes, enchant skill, we got two, we got two skill ups. Um, I'm fairly certain that there is a vampire quest by Sadrath Mora. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having to start, I'm gonna have to start looking things up and not, uh, relying entirely on my memory. Um, as this, this aspect here, uh, it's taking enough time as it is, and my memory of, uh, of, of playing as a vampire, uh, all those years ago, is a little bit spotty, so, we'll say for everyone, for, for the sake of everyone's time, uh, mine included, uh, I think we'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll look something up, but I'm pretty sure that, that whatever I'm gonna look up is going to tell me to head to Sadrith Mora for something. I hope I'm right, um, and then maybe hopefully along the way I'll, I'll find me some uh, some other vampires to slay. 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing something very risky now that I think about it. I'm like, oh yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna run all the way over there, uh, you know, because you're running in the wrong direction, you idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna catch myself out in the open with when the sun comes up. I'll be like, oh, I was just going in the wrong direction altogether. Um, because what time is it? It is 4 a.m. So I, I've got... I've got like two hours to find myself a nice place to hide. Anyways, uh, next time I will uh, continue my journey across uh, unknown territory uh, on, on my journey to get to Sadrath Mora in hopes of finding another vampire quest and other vampires uh, to kill to complete the quest that we are currently on. Um, I, I do want to do the vampire quests. One, I'm a vampire, I might as well m uh, commit to it. And two, uh, the rewards are pretty good, at least so far. I seem to remember there being a couple of other good ones that I still have not yet got, yet got my hands on. I was gonna say, if I die to the scrib, uh, that would be amazing. I, I, you know what, I, I wouldn't even be mad. I would just be like, that, that, that was amazing. Alright, anyways. Enough prolonging the uh, the inevitable here. Uh, until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on. <laughs>